Hello, my name is Thiago. I am a research assistant at the chair of Power Electronics in Kiel University. Today, I would like to show something regarding our project UHART. It is the one breakable, highly efficient and reliable transformer, a spin-off of HART project. Derived in general from the dual octave breed or series resonant converters, the multi-winding transformer based DC DC converter is capable of simultaneous power flow through the common magnet coupling among the cells. Therefore, for critical application, where availability is the most important thing, we have proposed and implemented a DC DC converter with inherent fault tolerance capability. The proposed fault tolerance approach aims at the realization of a topology with particular care to the continuous operation of the system, even under fault conditions. The main concept of this approach is based on the application of multi-winding transformer, which uses the magnetic coupling to link the cells and consequently compose the whole DC-DC converter. This magnetic coupling provides also the perfect post-fault management, since the power can be easily interchanged among the health cells in case of a fault. But what happens in case of a fault? Well, in normal conditions, the cells of the converter operate simultaneously, sharing the power among the health cells. However, in case of a fault, only the damaged cell is isolated from the system, whereas the health cells maintains the power flow and the operation. Now, let's have a look at the operation of the proposed fault tolerance approach. In this case, I use a quadruple active bridge converter, or simply QAB converter, in order to demonstrate the proposed approach. First of all, I will show the standalone operation of the QAB, since its initialization until its complete deactivation. In between, emulate faults will occur in each cell, starting with cell 1. As a result, the dc converter should be able to handle automatically these faults, at the same time that the power flow and operation at near full power is maintained. Now you have understood the proposed fault tolerance approach, let's have a look at the waveforms of the QAB converter and the real operation. In this case, each cell of the converter is submitted to a fault. As a result, the fault tolerance approach will disconnect the cell and after one second, in case of no damage fault, the system will try the reconnection of the fault cell. As you can see from the waveforms, this approach will also be demonstrated on the other cells. As I said, first the fault cell is disconnected, afterward the system checks the status of the fault cell and then tries to reconnect it to the system. In the case of some kind of damage to the cell, the system will reconfigure itself using the health cells, in order to ensure the operation and the high performance of the system. Therefore, assuming that the cell 2 is somehow damaged, the QAB converter will be reconfigured to triple active bridge, or simply TAB convert. Now, assuming that the cell free is also the major, the TAB converter will be now reconfigured to dual active bridge converter, or simply DAB. Now, let's have a look at the zoom out of the previous waveforms. Once the cells are coupled magnetically and the power paths are all interconnected, the soft transition after fault is ensured by the post-fault management strategy, which will route according the power flow among the health cells. The main characteristic of this approach is that the system might keep the operation under and after a fault condition, so that the converter is able to reconfigure itself depending on, in this case, the fault location.
For more information, please access our website or for more details and news regarding the UHeart project, please have a look at the UHeart website. There you are able to follow our progress and also the last breakthroughs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.